Plagiarism can be a big problem in our schools, but it doesn't have to be. Fortunately, Google Docs makes it easy to insert reference citations, footnotes, and more. For example, let's say I want to write a book report on The Giver. Now, it's been a little while since I've read the book, so I'm going to need to research some more information. To do that, I can click on Tools and click Research, right inside of Google Docs. Now, this gives me a snippet of text which allows me to find out more information about The Giver. So now I know the author is Lois Lowry. In addition, I can also scroll down and research other sites for more information. By hovering over a web result, I can either preview the site, insert a link, and even cite my reference. Now if you notice, over here, I have a citation that directs me to the footnote that was automatically inserted. In addition, you can also use Google Scholar in order to find the reference citation for a text. So if I click on Google Scholar, it will bring up books and articles with the title of The Giver. Now I don't see what I'm looking for, so I'm going to add the author in addition to the title. And I can also click this down arrow, which will allow me to change the citation format. I can choose either MLA, APA, or Chicago. I'll select APA, and it will change the citation format for all of the resources. Now, I find the one I want, and I can either choose a cite as a footnote, or I can insert. I'm going to go ahead and cite as a footnote, and insert into my Google Doc. Now when I scroll down at the bottom of the page, I'll have two citation references. Now let's say I'd like to find an image. I can select images, and then I can click this down arrow again to allow me to change my usage rights. Google Docs will automatically be set to not filtered by license. So if I click the down arrow, I can choose free to use, share or modify, even commercially. And I'll get my results here. Now unfortunately, I get a limited amount of results. So I'm going to have to change my search. I'm going to take out the author and just use the title. Now, I can scroll down and I find a picture that I'm looking for. If I hover over the picture, I can see where the resource comes from. And if I want to use the source, I can simply just click and drag into my document. Now, since it's in my document, it also added a little citation and also added an additional footnote at the bottom. It lets me know where I retrieved it from so that I can click on that link and find more information and I can even double check to make sure that it's copyright free. For this particular book report, I might want to find a quote from Lois Lowry. So what I could do is change the picture or image sign to quotes and then I could search for a quote from Lois Lowry. When I find the quote I want, I can hover over it and simply click insert. This will automatically insert the quote for me and then it'll also create an additional footnote at the bottom of the page. The other tools I could use are the dictionary feature, which will allow me to define a word, or the personal tool, which will allow me to search through all of the content that's in my Google account. So, the next time you have to do a research paper, or the next time you have your students do an assignment, be sure to check out Google Docs for an easy and convenient way to insert reference citations, footnotes, and more.